Well, joining me now in the studio, Oliver Payton, owner of several restaurants and the founder of Payton & Burn, and from our Manchester studio, Liz O'Neill, from the Vegetarian Society. Liz O'Neill, if mad cow disease didn't put people off beef, a bit of black beauty is not going to make much difference, is it? <laughs> Well, interestingly, mad cow disease did put a lot of people off beef, and I think what all of these scandals do is they bring information into the public eye, and information is, is the enemy of meat-eating in many ways. A lot of people eat meat because it's what they've always done, it's what their family has always done. Vegetarians are generally people who know rather more about the meat industry than meat-eaters. Oliver Payton, would you buy mince or pies or burgers from reputable supermarkets? Never. I mean, I think, first of all, you have to say, I think it's a complete outrage. Mm -hmm. The supermarkets have a moral and legal obligation to know what's going in their products. The FSA couldn't staff up enough to check every supermarket product. I mean, people have to remember that ready meals are made in Indonesia or Brazil next to a trainer. It's not made up the road in Leicestershire or in Essex or something like that. These are well-travelled packages of food. But not everybody can afford to go to the organic butcher and buy a piece of meat and, and all the rest of it. I mean, what, what are you supposed to do, apart from going vegetarian, to eat meat healthily and safely? Well. I mean, if you take a train up and down the country, you can see how much of our land is fallow. I mean, I think it's very interesting what the uh, NFU says, which is by British, but that's all they can say. Farmers who live a very sort of monastic life need to be helped. Many of them have gone out of business because they can't get decent prices for their milk. We should be able to produce whatever food we need in this country at the right price for consumers. And if, if the product... It, I mean, to me, it's crazy that a product made in Thailand or Brazil is cheaper than a product... Uh, reared or grown in Britain. Liz O'Neill, what, what would you say to people who, who may not want to go vegetarian but who may be a little worried tonight for the next week while the government works out wh what's in our food and whether it's cat, dog, rat or crocodile? Um, you know, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're planning your weekend's Sunday lunch, what's a good alternative? A good alternative, if you, if you really want a, a, a roast dinner, then I have to say nut roast still works. Oh. I know it's a bit of a cliche. No, I, I, I personally really like it. But the, the point is that vegetarian food is you know, it's delicious, it's nutritious, it's sustainable. You don't have to commit 100% if you don't want to, but there's absolutely no need to eat meat. Oliver, there's why, no need why, why are you groaning at that issues. suggestion? I love vegetarian food. I eat lots of vegetarian food. It's part, a big part of my diet. But, I mean, people like meat. You know, in the winter, I prefer to eat more meat. During the summer, I, and, and I, I eat more vegetables. It's just the natural rhythm of life. But, you know, I don't think it's realistic to believe they're all go going to become vegetarians over this. The funny thing about this story is horse meat is really good for you. You know, doctors in Italy prescribe it for health but reasons. But we don't know what horse meat we've got in this food chain. True. That's the difference. But I think they should the horse meat may up. be perfectly... You know, and, they, and of course they, they, they eat it and sell it elsewhere in the world perfectly happily. Sure. But we just don't know whether it's got I mean, horrible stuff in it as well. I mean, right now. The supermarkets should be held to account. This is price-driven, profit-orientated, profiteering by the supermarkets. And they should pay heavily for the testing all the time of these products. The interesting thing, when you see the sides of these trucks and it says sourced from British and Irish farms, that's like a tissue of lies. I mean, the source, they, I mean, Ireland's a sort of airport for meat, as far as I'm concerned. You know, because if uh, meat comes from Ireland, I think I'm not going to buy it because it's probably from Indonesia. You know, it's... Uh, Liz O'Neill, what's the biggest obstacle to most people when it comes to vegetarianism? Is it, is it that they just think, you know, it's not as healthy, you know, you're not going to get as many well, vitamins or as much protein? I think they're just not familiar or... with it, to be honest. That, that some people worry about, about, about health issues, I mean, they really needn't. There's, there's absolutely nothing you can't get on a vegetarian diet. You just have to think a little bit differently. Do you take supplements? I think what, keep... Sorry? Do you take supplements? I, I certainly don't take supplements, like no, no, and I didn't, you know, whilst having my two children, who I have to say are enormous, my seven-year-old's nearly as tall as me, but, um, you know, as a veg I've been a vegetarian for over 25 years, I've, you know, gone through various stages of life now, now as a parent, there's absolutely nothing missing in a healthy, balanced do, do, vegetarian diet. Do you think, Oliver, that this could it's... lead to the end of the ready meal? Oh, I really hope so. But what's quite interesting, what, and the trend we see in restaurants always very early on, is, you know, there's a massive demand for vegetarian food now in restaurants. In, uh, you know, in our restaurants, instead of one 
paltry, you know, vegetarian risotto. Mm -hmm. Often you'll have two or three main course vegetarian dishes. There is a natural demand now for dishes without meat in them. Even fish, you know, many people, you know, you, you, you know it's really changing quite a lot. We must leave it there. Oliver Payton, Liz O'Neill, thank you both very much. I think we should get you both back and do a little menu cook-off another day. Some of my maybe. best friends are vegetarians. <laughs> thank you very much. John.